Hey everybody. So, I'm looking at Yukawa again. I thought I would do a very short video on making your own patch. So, let's see here. What do I have? Uh, this is bypassed. And we have just one piano note coming every half bar. Okay. So let's let's take preset two. Okay, this is just one of the factory presets. And let's look at the routing section. Let's take out the input into the stereo delay. And let's take out the input from the sequence delay that's being fed into the stereo delay. So now all we have is the sequence delay, but we're not hearing anything because it's not being channeled through here. So let's open that, channeling it to the filter. And let's open maybe this a little bit. A non-filtered one. Okay, and let's look at how the sequence delay can be set up. So at the moment it's just doing four taps. One, two, three, four, five. That's what you're hearing there. So this will start on the second sixteenth note. All of these are sixteenth notes. So it's a delay, remember, so it's not, this is not going to play right on the first beat here. It's going to come in on the second, sixteenth note. So let's... Okay, so what we can do here is set up a pattern. First we can turn on 16 taps and then we can alternate so here we're going to be getting on the first, the third, the fifth, the seventh and then here in the second part we can alter that So this pattern is going to last for 16 sixteenths, right? So one bar. And we have a different note every half bar. So that's why now we're starting to get the delay stretching out over on top of the second note that comes along. Let's um, go in and just pan things pretty radically. And let's play with cutoff and resonance. Let's bring the resonance up for these a little bit. Let's add a little bit of feedback. Experiment with the damp. I like it in the middle. 
Now let's feed some through to the stereo delay. Let's look at the delay times here. 3 sixteenth quarter. Let's change this. An eighth note and a quarter note. That sounds pretty good. Add a bit more filter effect. Unsync it. Let's try with drive. Let's bring in direct input into the stereo delay itself. Let's bring down the filter modulations a bit too much, I think. Let's see what happens when we play with the EQ for the input. Let's try faster stereo delay times. Experiment with the level. This should kind of humanize it a little bit. Let's play with the dry and wet. And now we can control the mix. We're not sending any sequence into the stereo delay. Now we're sending a lot. We can experiment with the mix of filtered and unfiltered. Experimenting with different filter rate and cutoff. Like that. Increase our resonance. Thank you. 
And let's bypass it and remind ourselves of what the original is like. Pretty damn cool to lay this. I'm enjoying it a lot. By the way, ah, if we go into the factory presets, right at the bottom, there's this section, templates. And here we can see a whole bunch of different templates we can use. So for example, here we have stereo delay and sequence delay, both going through the filter. And if you study this, if you watch my previous videos on this, you'll understand this section. I won't explain it again. You'll see that that's what's happening. Here, stereo delay and sequence delay, but no filter. Here, sequence delay is going into the filter, but no stereo delay. Here, sequence delay is going into stereo delay, and then that is going into the filter. Right, look, sequence delay going up here, into stereo delay, and along to the filter. So it's really useful to explore this templates section to understand the routing in this better. This is a brilliant little delay. It's so much fun to play around with the different sequences that you can set up, get all these different adjustments over the level and use these to just quickly knock things in and out. You can play these in real time. Get more regular patterns or more random sounding, a bit more irregular. Experimenting with the number of taps. Great stuff. All right, see you in the next video.